Thank you, Tony. I uh, appreciate you and, and Susan for all the hard work you do, uh, not only for myself, but for the players and uh, putting that in because you know I wouldn't nominate myself. So I'm sure you guys did all that work, but uh, thank you. Appreciate appreciate what you do. Um, you know, after reviewing the film and, and coming in here, um, you know, really uh, kind of disappointed and a uh, little unhappy with uh, some of the undisciplined play that, that we had from this past week. And uh, not to take away from so many players that did a great job and really defensively was a very good uh, effort once again. I felt like the guys were really uh, dialed in, detailed, and executed at a very high level. Uh, offensively, um, there's some things we've got to get ironed out. And it was just it just felt like it was a person here, a person there, uh, just undisciplined play. And, uh, you know, anytime you have ten penalties, three turnovers, four fumbles, and you do that at home, it just shows you that that, that attention to detail uh, was not there. And we, we go on the road a week before and play in a hostile environment and have two penalties and, and play relatively clean. And we play at home uh, against Youngstown and, and uh, put that kind of play out there. It's, it's, it's uh, not very good. You know, there's so many things we need to improve on. Um, the positive side was uh, when we did have protection, which the, the protection was relatively solid. There was a couple uh, sacks in there, one one or two even on Will. Uh, one he has to throw hot, one, one we had a guy opening, he's got to throw the ball. Uh, but other than that, Will really did make some exceptional plays. Um, and then there were some things that we got to get better at. You know, the interceptions, uh, they're not all on him, uh, and, and they weren't – uh, stellar plays by him. He made a lot of fantastic plays, uh, but the but the interceptions are not completely on him as well. We have to play better, and that's what I suspected post game when I talked to you in the press conference that I felt like we need to play better around him, and uh, that showed up a bit on Saturday. So it's a matter of getting everybody on the same page. Again, it's not a matter of are we able to do it or you know we're we're talented enough to do it, and uh, there's no excuses. We just got to play better. We've got to be more disciplined, and again, the attention to detail, the little things, um, that it's always a person here and a person there that's throwing us off offensively, and uh, we need to put we need to put that together. No. 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 Mark, there was a lot of talk last year when Liam was here about the outside zone run scheme and how he wanted to do that, and then he kind of went away from it. Was some of this adjustment to be expected as, as you all emphasize that, and, and I guess how was that going? Same. Uh, I agree. We, we had a discussion about that this morning with uh, with uh, Rich and, uh, and Zach, and uh, we'll, we'll continue to, to get better at it. There's a couple of them that were targeted that were not – not well, not not well designed plays. You know what I mean? That they had numbers and wasn't good. We need to get out of it. Um, and there's, you know, that's that's a bit of it, John. There's a few plays here and there uh, with the outside zone that that uh, you know we got to iron out with our targets. There's things uh, uh, where where we're running it, um, and then uh, you know a couple just the movement. Uh, up front that we should be able to handle. Uh, we didn't play our best up front, you know, with the offensive line. And uh, we got to continue to improve. How is Eli? He had some pretty big shoes to fill. How have you seen his progress you know, in his play just the first three weeks? Just was talking to Eli in the coffee room uh, about 10 minutes ago. And uh, he and I had another good discussion. And, you know, we he's doing a, a, a pretty good job and he can be a really strong leader. And he... Um, just had a good discussion, and he will um, continue to help push that group and, and bring them along. And as as I just mentioned to you, that's something that he he understands too. He's like just the little things, the, you know, little things in practice, you know, starting to show up on on Saturday. And so we just got to do a better job. But Eli's doing it; he's playing well. Yeah. Talking to Rich on Saturday about the starts of games. Of course, you guys have finished strong, uh, but to you, uh, looking back at the film. Do the starts of, of games offensively concern you, or do you feel like you guys need to get out, you know, faster in these games? Um, you know, well, well, defensively we couldn't have probably started any faster. I think it was five out of six possessions. There were three and outs. Um, 
if I'm not mistaken, somewhere in, something like that. But uh, but yeah, offensively we had some drives stall um, first couple, and um, you know we need to we need to capitalize on that. We had the long drive in the first quarter that ended in the interception that uh, we need to we need to execute better, not just with the quarterback. Mark, any update on JJ and is Tayshawn the expected to be back Saturday? Um, JJ will be week to week. Um, he will not. It doesn't look like he'll be able to play this week. Um, and Tayshawn, you know, hopefully will will be back. Mark, on the defensive side, you've had a couple of youngsters that have had to step into some key roles. Love it in the back, but uh, obviously with J.J. not going, Keaton has gotten more snaps. What have you liked about him as, as he gets more in, entwined in the defense? Yeah, Keaton is one of those guys, he, he has a good understanding. He... he uh, he has a good feel for the game at that position. You know, you've heard me talk through the years that it, there's a lot on that guy as well. And he's one of those guys that has good instincts. He, as he gets reps, he'll get better and better and start producing the, the plays that some of our outside backers have over time. Uh, right now, he's just really good and solid. And uh, he'll, as he gets reps and more confidence, he'll get better and better. You mentioned after the game about wanting to run downhill. Is that an adjustment you want to see from the running backs, or is that just more go with the offensive line? It all fits together. Um, there's certainly things we could do better uh, at, at the running back position, um, and there's uh, you know there's holes that we could create better as well. Did you get as many of the young guys in the game staff as you'd like? I know there's always you'd always like to have more reps, but you were looking forward to that. Yeah. We got some good guys, you know, some good reps, but we would have liked to have seen more. You know, and again, unfortunately, uh, you know, couldn't completely pull away, and you want to just get better. You know, we were just working on ourselves constantly, and there's a good rotation in there, but but uh, probably not as many reps as we'd like. The, the red zone, a couple appearances, not enough touchdowns, I think, by your standard. What, how, how do you change that? How do you bring yeah, just uh, everything tightens up in there. Things happen quicker. You know, the, the decisions have to be uh, quick by the quarterback, you know, play calls, you know, putting them in good position, you know, executing at a higher level. Um, you know, just the, the the one late in the game in particular, first and goal on the three, and, and you know, we got to be able to punch that, punch, punch that in. Looks like Alex Safari is going to move to a linebacker position. Uh, what have you seen out of him to um, – to really impress you. Yeah, Alex has been playing that position. So we, again, without getting overly complicated, but that position is a nickel slash Sam. So it's it's a matter of what we call it on first and second down. But uh, he's been playing that position. It's just a matter of who we who does whether, whether we decide to go with a big guy or a that defensive back. Mark, when you turn on the tape. Northern Illinois quarterback, Rackham Lombardi. I know he might be questionable this week. What do you see from him? As a yeah, he's a really good player. You know, saw he looks like he slid and something happened, maybe to an ankle or a knee or a leg. I I'm not sure, but uh, but but he 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 came out right after that, and then uh, Hampton went in and uh, he went on to throw two touchdowns and keep him in the game. You know, have a uh, gave him a good chance. Um, so I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, Lombardi's a, a really good player with some good experience, and he's kind of a crafty guy. You could see he could see his comfort level in that pocket early in that game, just the way he was directing things. Even a simple little out out pass, waiting, buying time, you know, creating space for his wide out, and then later another one where he bought time and and uh, kind of directed. A broken play, you know, for a touchdown or to the one, I think it was, but uh, really good player. Did you get a better look from them since they played an SEC foe the week before? I don't know if better. You know, the, the film, you know, people have a tendency to do what they do. You know, we've watched them, uh, you know, in the off season, uh, watched them now, and, uh, you know, we have three games to look at, so it's good film. Mark, at this point, tell us what you know and what concerns you about Northern Illinois. Uh, you know, again, uh, and, and you hear me say it every week, no matter who we're playing, uh, what concerns me is us. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm, I, I, that doesn't that doesn't ever change. It's, it's, it's about us and, and being more disciplined and being more efficient and having a good practice and, and having a great intensity about us. And, and I'm not saying it was a whole, a whole team, but it doesn't matter. 
you know, you don't know what any one player or any one play is going to affect the outcome of a game. And I didn't feel like we were as consistent as we needed to be on Saturday. It seems like that's going to be the theme of your practice this week, paying attention to detail. <laughs> that's going to be part of it. Darren <laughs> 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 first game for you all Saturday. What was your impressions of him? Darren Young yeah. made his debut on Saturday. Yeah. What were your impressions of Yeah, he did, did a few good things, you know, and hopefully we'll continue to get more out of him. Some of those throws, I know you talk about Will progressing from one year to the next. Are you starting to see that really come alive on, on Saturday? He, he really, you know, honestly, he made some amazing throws again on Saturday. Really just the, the talent just jumps out at you. Just the way, you know, he, he, you know, he gets moved off his spot and still have the awareness and, and the arm talent and just the way he throws some of them uh, just really – Really talented thrower and made some amazing plays that kind of go unnoticed, you know, in a game like that. Mark, what's the next step for him? What do you want to see now from him? Well, you know, I think it, it's not just him. I mean, and, and I'm not bailing him out, but but on the interceptions and, and some of that, there we need to play better around him. You know, and, and some some guys need to step up and and play more precisely, and uh, you know, so. Um, I think, you know, him, you know, holding the young wideouts accountable, you know, all the little things and continue to grow and, and, you know, because it only takes one guy, you know, you've heard the frustration or me talking about it, a guy here, a guy there. Well, that's all it takes. You know, you need everybody on the same page. That's why this is the ultimate team sport. I mean, you, you have to have everybody on the same page or it's not going to work. And, uh, you know, so uh, I think there's a lot of little things. He threw one, uh, you know, off balance without, you know, his, his footwork being correct, but it was also a, a, a bad route, you know, so there was a combination of things on that. So, um, you know, we'll continue to grow. Are you happy with how you've gotten the tight end involved in the offense through three weeks? Sure. I mean, I think, you know, there, there's, you know, some good things they're doing, but again, I think they're too inconsistent as well. I think they could be a really strong point for us, and, and I don't think they're – you know, as strong at the point of attack as they can be as well in the run game, and they could help us and, and do more, um, you know, as, as a group. They've done some good things, but just like just like most of our team, we could be better. Mark, I came to you, Soxon, and I obviously remade his body. Is that paying off in terms of more dynamic pass rushing? Has he given up anything in run defense? No, uh, run defense, we've been pretty stout. Um, so... You know, I think he's playing really good, and you know, it's a matter of maintaining that through this season as as you get more and more wear and tear, and uh, continue to be able to play at a high level. We're able to rotate some guys, which helps. But uh, yeah, he is quicker and and playing more explosive. It seems like Will Saunders, who I don't recall being a highly recruited guy, he's played pretty well. Yeah, Khalil's. Uh, one of those guys that has some length, and, and you've heard me talk about before, like with Phil Hoskins, the guys with that kind of length and, and can play looser and have some quick twitch, you know, along with a big, longer body that kind of helps us. What does it say about your defense that they didn't convert any third or fourth downs, you haven't really given up any long drives, but you've done it without sacks, tackles for loss? Yeah, I mean, it, part of that is, you know, we we need to get home, but but part of it is getting they're getting the ball out too, you know, and being creative and and, uh, and not just sitting back there. So, um, you know, the sacks, the tackles for loss, turnovers will come if we continue to play at a really high level, and they're playing pretty pretty strong right now. You take out, uh, you know, the one go ball, you know, in which was a technique issue, and you add the penalty on top of that, and then the screen. It's a pretty darn complete game. Mark Harrington made two big plays directly took away touchdowns. He got kind of thrown into the fire as a young player. Could you describe his development and what he's done? And yeah. He has really taken a step this year. You've heard me talk about preseason. I felt like he was. Um, I was confident, as he should, you know, just with the with progressing. Um, you know, I felt like he's stronger. Um, he's playing at a – he's playing much stronger as well. You know, he's winning those competitive matchups. And uh, he's winning his fair share. And if he gets beat, you know, like Saturday, he came, came right back and made a huge play. You know, and that's, that's his competitive nature. So I really like the way he's, you know, stepping up and competing right now. 
Is there an update on Jatom playing? Uh, as I mentioned last week, he was week to week. Um, so he was out there a bit last week of practice. Wasn't quite going to be effective enough. So we'll see how it goes this week. As an old defensive backs coach, how pleased are you, especially with the injuries you've had back there? If I'm not mistaken, you're one of only two teams in the entire country that's not given up a passing touchdown yet. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're playing good as a unit, but the the defense in general is playing good. You know, and, and as I mentioned, the the guy here, guy there, maybe offensively or even defensively this year during the year. You know, when you get, it only takes one person messing up, you know, to get us thrown off. And those could be little things that you don't really always see, whether it's rush lanes or you know, contain and just just you know, you you got to play good as a group and be very unselfish. And I think yeah, they're playing good on the back end, but it's really the whole structure that's been successful. After watching the film, this is the first game that we've seen, we've seen Jordan Love in a starting role. We've got a lot of time in Florida. What did you see out of him? What did you like from this game? Yeah, jo Jordan, again, is very um, – he's getting better with every opportunity, getting more confident, getting a good feel for the game. He's one of those guys you could see him just playing faster with the snaps under his belt. And very athletic uh, young man. And, you know, he's, I think, got a really bright future. Mark, you're actually a problem up there. <coughs> Uh, well, it, it, you know, it's it is an honor to be the honorary coach of the Good Works team. I I uh, always just try to do my part, you know, put my head down and, and go to work. Um, and there's enough to do to keep me extremely busy. But uh, I also like giving back, and I've attached myself to the UK Children's Hospital really since day one. And it's an honor for us to be a part of that and to help in any way we can. Um, you know, really since the first day we've been here and my staff has really chipped in and done an awful lot as well. And, and uh, as I mentioned at the, at the you know, one of the functions we have every year, it just takes uh, any of us to have our child be sick and spend any time over there. And you can see why it's pretty easy to attach yourself at the Children's Hospital. Speaking as a veteran who's been laid up over here at PA, are there any thoughts about doing the players going over to the PA doing the Veterans Day to get sure. the spirits of those yeah. who yeah, I think it would be a great idea, you know, and, and there, our players give a, give back a lot and do a lot as well, but that's certainly something that you could also attach yourself to. Mark, is, is that kind of charity work something you had envisioned when you be, first became a head coach? Is that something you had kind of looked forward to doing all along? Well, you always try to do what you can and always have. I think when you're in a position like that, you know, it's, it's um, you know, you should, you know, give back and try. Um, as I'm it's very hard to get spread very thin, you know, and uh, that's something that I've mentioned, I've been honest about. I mean, it's it's hard, you know what I mean? It's it's, it's hard balance, finding balance in these positions, you know, especially, I mean, it is what it is. I sit there and cry about it, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's, it's a lot to do. Mark, we heard your review of the film, but even more important, what was Mom's? Yeah. <laughs> well, the tight ends caught a few passes. So she was, uh, you know, no, mom, she was. Uh, it was really good to have her here. I'm not sure how many football games she'll be able to to attend anymore. So that may be her last one. You know, without don't worry, she'll be glued to her couch watching them all. But uh, she'll be tuned in. But uh, maybe the last one in person. It was great to have the whole family here. Mark, when we talked to Kedron after the Florida game, he said he wouldn't have come here. He didn't think you all could be really special. What was your pitch to him as a guy who had played so much in the SEC already, what you could do to take him? Well, I don't know the, the pitch, but, I mean, for him, it's a matter of showing him the film, showing him what we do. With the older guys, it's about, you know, exactly showing him what role we think he could play within our system. You know, because they're, they're done with the, you know, coming out of high school and, you know, all the fancy stuff, you know, generally the transfers are really looking at where do I fit into their system and how are they going to use me. And uh, those those kind of guys are enjoyable to recruit because for us it's just a matter of showing them the film, showing them what we've done to help, uh, you know, other guys reach their goals and and be successful in this league and be successful at the next level. Did it help with them that you already had Jacquez and they had that relationship? Yeah, it did help, yeah. On the other side of that, as a coach, I mean, you could have players leave too at the end of the year and have had players leave. Does that go into your thinking at all during this season? Hey, we need to give this guy a shot because he might go someplace else, or is that something you can't worry about during the year you just worry about after the season's over? No, I think I think that's fair to say that, yeah, because as I mentioned to, you know, to the coaches, I mean, sometimes we spend years, years, 
years recruiting these guys. And so, and they're really good players. And you also have to, you know, really take time with the players and make and help them understand that, that a lot of these guys are going to be very successful. And if they're not successful right now, then, then let's talk about it, address it, and see where they need to improve and really help them improve. Because you get, you get caught up as coordinators and position coaches. You get caught up with the game plan. We get caught up with winning, which is ultimately most important. But we can't forget about development and bringing those guys along. And, and uh, you know, I think a guy like Dekel is, is, a, is a great example of that. As I told Dekel last couple of weeks, like, you, you can be one of the, you know, a great player here. It's just a matter of when, you know, and, and continuing to stay positive and work extremely hard. to So when they get that opportunity, how are they going to play? And you've heard me mention in here many times, it's not just a matter of how they play, but how do we function as an offense, a defense, or special teams when they're in the game as well? You know, are they doing all the little things? And that's where we didn't do a very good job this past week as a group, like the wideouts. Yeah, you're going to see the stat sheet and say, wow, they caught a lot of passes, but they did not play. To, to our standard, you know, and they need to improve and they need to do the little things right and they need to block, they need to get lined up, they need to execute and they, we didn't do it to, to, to a high enough standard this week. On that recruiting note, how big of an asset is it both with the transfers and high school prospects to show them the NFL tape of guys not only getting there but succeeding like they did this week? With well, the I, yeah, I think it's, 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 you know, very important. I mean, we're just, you know, so proud of the guys in the NFL, but, you know, for for us, yeah, to show them the, the history and the, and the way we develop players and, you know, put them in a system that they could be successful in is, is helpful. Mark, on that wide receiver, this is amazing game. This is amazing game. But, uh, and I guess considering that, but looking, on, looking at what uh, Keontae Goodman did on the film when he locked up on the guy and just pancaked him and, you know, stayed on the block pancaked him. I mean, what do you take from that as far as him you know, as my offensive line? Yeah, I mean that was a that was a good play. It was the last play of the game, I believe you're speaking of. Um, but uh, you know, he there's things that he can do very well, and that was right at the point of attack, front side. And then there's things that that you know go into being a complete offensive lineman. That he'll be he'll be fine. He just needs to continue to work and grow and develop, as I just mentioned. Uh, but one play um, is you know far from a finished product. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, the receiver blocking you mentioned, how big it, like everybody wants to brag on the offensive line, but how has that been, do you feel, is that something y'all need to keep? Yeah, I mean, there's one play with a missed assignment. It goes for a negative four yards, and everybody's going to say it's on the offensive line when we have it we have, we have it all sealed up if we do what we're supposed to do. You know, it's probably a 20-yard gain instead of a four-yard loss, but that's not on the offensive line. That's on a wide receiver completely with him. Is it easier or harder to teach that to young receivers when they're catching a bunch of passes? To, to take oh, they're going to they're gonna learn or they won't be catching passes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. We, we saw Jeremy Flax miss some time in the middle of the game, and you brought in David on the right side earlier. Mm -hmm. You're on the left. How do you think he played most snaps that he got? Yeah, he, he's going to continue to develop and be a good player. Yeah, we we have we still have confidence in David. You know, like I mentioned earlier, you put him on the left early because of need, and it was hard for him. But he he's he's going to play well and continue to be a good player. How do you feel like Horsley's playing there? Horsley's playing there. Just he just he, he we I'm not going to put it all on him, but not as good as we need to in this game. Comes out in the you know in the Florida game that that whole left side. You know, we bragged on the left side and. You know, with him and Jagger, and after that game, and we didn't play to our standard this week on that side at all. Okay, anybody else?